Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel of Developers and Code School. Today we are here to discuss a problem from recent contest of code forces that is round 852 and the problem is head and array. So let's see what the problem is asked to us, then we will see how to approach it. So for his birthday recently, Hede was given an array A of an integers arranged in a circle. For each pair of neighboring numbers A1, A2, A2, A3 and so on, the absolute difference between them is equal to 1. Let's call a local maximum an element which is greater than both of its neighboring elements. That means if B, A, C is written there, then if A is more than B as well as A is also more than C, then A will be local maximum. And same for local minimum, if A is less than B and, and A is also less than C, then A will be local minimum. That means that is minimum in the it's a local area. Then note that element A1 and A N are neighboring elements. So they are arranged in a circle. So how will that will be like if A1, A2, A3, A4? This is our given array. Then that will be like A1, A2, A3, A4. A1 and A4 also they are also neighboring elements. Unfortunately, had a lost an array. But he remembered in its sum of local maximum x and sum of local minimum. x is sum of local maximums and y is sum of local minimums. So we are given x and y and we have to find the matching array. But the condition is that length should be as minimum as possible. So let's see the test cases. Like if 3 and minus 2 is given to us, then okay, let me take it on over one note. Then if 3 and minus 2, this is sum of local maximums, that is x, and this is sum of local minimum, that is y. So what can be the possible combination? So there can be something like, um, what is the answer in this? That is 0, 1, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1. So if we, if we arrange it in our circle, that will be like 0, 1, 2, 1 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 0 1 you all can see that absolute difference is 1 in all combinations and what are the local maximums so 2 is local maximum because this is maximum in its local area that is 1 2 1 then 1 is also local maximum there is no other element which is local maximum so sum of 2 plus 1 that is 3 this is sum of local maximum and what is the local minimums that is minus one is here then this minus one and there is not any other element which is local minimum so sum of local minimums is minus two so this is a possible answer for this there can be an, an another solution for it also but this is a possible answer and its length is four plus four plus two that is ten so our task is to find out such an array for whatever x and y is given to us so what we can do either we can make such type of complex array or we can think that what it can be the simplest or easiest way to write an array like this so there can be like if we want to like x um, x and y is given to us just think that a1 b1 and c1 these are local maximums and a2 b2 c2 these are local minimums so it's some their sum will be this is x and this is y in this what we are doing that we are making partition of x in three elements and in this we are making partition of y in three elements so what can be the simplest way to do this problem can we do like not make such type of partition make x local maximum make y local minimum so what what i want to say that there is only one local maximum only one local maximum that is x and that is only local minimum only one local minimum that is y so absolutely the sum also will be x and y what we will do obviously x will be more than y so we will reduce our x with x minus 1 x minus 2 till then y again here y plus 1 y plus 2 x minus 2 x minus 1 
what I am doing here? See in our example like 3 and minus 2. What I will do? 3 is here, minus 2 is here. Decrease 3 till minus 2. That will be 2, 1, 0, minus 1. Again, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1. So what are the local maximums? That is 3 here. There is, we cannot find any other local maximum in this. And what are the local minimum? That is only minus 1, 2. There, there is not any other local minimum. So th this is possible array for 3 and minus 2. So this is the simplest way to make this. Like we can make another array also but that will be complex. So that was pretty approach about this. Let's see the code. So first of all I am taking the input of n and f. Then this is size of our array. What will be that? The difference of n minus m. Like here that is 3 minus minus 2 that is 5 5 multiplied 2 that is 10 because first of all we added from 3 to minus 2 this side then again we are doing that for that i am multiplying with that with 2 and this will be x minus y this length so 2 multiply with x minus y that will be our length of our array then first of all i am starting our i with n and taking that till m so what i will do like 3 then 2 then 1 then okay 3 2 1 then 0 then minus 1 it is going till minus 1 not minus 2 because i am writing here i should be more than minus 2 then in this loop i am starting that with m that is minus 2 increase it i that will be minus 1 0 1 2 and till then i should be less than 3 so this is this so our final value will be 3, 2, 1, 0, mi minus 1 and minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. So that is our answer for this 3 and minus 2. So that was a pretty approach about this. See you in the next problem. Till then, happy coding. Bye bye.